Happening now, the Portland Japanese Garden is offering a unique shopping experience for the summer. I'm excited about this. Yeah, one. it's really neat. It's called Behind the Shoji, which means sliding door in Japanese. So the annual sale features authentic Japanese goods that are hard to find here in the United States. So joining us on the couch now to tell us more about Behind the Shoji is retail manager Anna, e Anna Eva. And we also have the director of marketing, Megumi Kato. Good morning to both of you. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Glad you. you're here. Oh, yeah. Thanks for joining us. It's really neat. It, it really is an awesome, awesome concept. Concept, but let's kind of go from the ground up here. What is Behind the Shoji? Yeah, so Behind the Shoji is an annual summer marketplace that's held in the Pavilion Gallery at the Japanese Garden. And like you said, it's a really great way to shop hard to find Japanese goods. Um, they're all Japanese or Japanese inspired crafts. We're really lucky to have a wonderful director of buying and merchandising that goes to the Tokyo International Gift Show every year and works with Japanese craftsmen and small businesses to curate all the lovely goods that we have in the shop. That's amazing. The Portland Japanese Garden is my favorite place in this entire city. That is the one thing that if people visit Portland, they need to go to. Mm -hmm. So Megumi, talk to me about the goal for this show, the yeah. goal for this entire really event you guys have. Yes, yeah, thank you for asking that. Um, so Portland Japanese Garden is more than a garden, and so we're a cultural institution. So everything that we do, including our programming, our art exhibitions, the intentionality of the actual garden spaces, it's all centered around being able to share the experience of Japanese culture with our visitors. And so behind the shoji is no exception um, for that. It's being able to showcase the craftsmanship and the artistry um, of Japan with uh, our visitors. That's It's really neat. Well, what are some of these things that people can find? You know, we said that these are rare, these are hard to find, but what are these items that are hard to find? Yeah, I brought a couple with today. Um, we have first these ceramic cups from Ninshu. Uh, Ninshu is based out of a Muro kiln, which was founded in 1646. So wow. it's been around for quite a long time. And you can see on the cups actually the same um, like crest that they've been using oh. for the last 600 years. That's really um, neat. Here, I'm going to hold this up just a little bit yeah. so we can kind of pick up on that on this camera. Here. Yeah, of course. Um, and it's kind of a great example of a handcrafted good. These are all hand thrown, they're all hand glazed, so they're each gonna have an individual beauty to them and a warmth that you don't really get from like machine made ceramics. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, so. Japanese, I mean, artistry in art, it's, you can tell it's Japanese almost by seeing it. It's mm -hmm. beautiful. It's absolutely stunning to go and see and experience. And I mean, now you could have it in your home, but beyond this, what, um, other things are the are happening at the Portland Japanese Garden. Yeah, um, so I mean, summer is just so beautiful right now. We just, the city comes alive. It's no different from the garden. Um, we have a lot of events going on. We have cultural demonstrations and performances happening basically every week. We'll have cultural festivals later this summer. Uh, but it's our 60th anniversary too this year. Oh, nice. Congratulations. Um, thank you. <laughs> so taking the credit yeah. It's, you know, really back at the time, um, if I can just share a little bit of history, we please, were please. Um, founded in 1963, which, you know, it's not that that long after World War II had just mm. ended. And so Portland civic leaders at the time um, had incredible foresight and um, an intention, and they wanted to help reestablish ties between Portland and Japan and help, the heal, help to heal wounds from the war in our community. Um, and here we are 60 years later, we're able to continue to have these um, opportunities and experiences that bring people together um, in our community. And we'll have celebrations um, for our 60th anniversary in September. Um, and then we also have a gala that's gonna benefit our nonprofit organization um, in October that will help um, us continue to be a place of peace and beauty um, in our community. Oh, that really yeah. is wonderful. And that is to your point that, it, yes, it's called Portland Japanese Garden, but it's way more than just than just a garden. Now, if you're going for the garden, it's stunning. Please go. It's absolutely beautiful, very much an oasis, but you really do in tie in all aspects of culture. It's not just, you know, the the, the plants when you think of a garden, right? So it's, it's really well done. Uh, Anna and Magumi, really appreciate both your time for coming into AMX for this morning. Really, Thank really great you. stuff. Thanks Thank for having Thank us. Thank you. Again. All right. And again, behind the shoji happening now at the Portland Japanese Garden. It runs through September 4th. So go to JapaneseGarden.org for more information.